So can I show you all this video? Sure. So this is... Hello and welcome, welcome to the, the One Loan Coder Code, Code, Code Jam 2021 theme reveal, 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 reveal sort of the live stream. stream. Oh, it's a bit of a mouthful, isn't, isn't it? it? Sort of in just, just a couple of minutes, minutes in fact, when that countdown, countdown, countdown has finished, countdown, 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 I will reveal the theme for this year's jam. And at that precise, precise point, point, the jam begins and we have nine days to come up with an idea that matches the theme and submit it to judgment by the community. The reason jams have a theme like this is to ensure some sort of fairness across the competition. Because, because none of you know what the theme is going to be, it's anticipated that you'll have to create your entry from scratch. Well, well as is usual during a jam, now that all quickly I've got some, some dead silence to fill with some so I thought we'd have some do's and don'ts of the jam. jam. Firstly, do, do spend, spend time planning, planning your entry before you start coding. coding. Don't, don't just think you immediately got to click file new and start programming something. But don't forget, don't aim too high. You've only got nine days to do this, you are not going to create a AAA title in nine days. Do use technologies that you're familiar with. A jam, a jam isn't the time, time to start learning something new, unless, well, for you, that is the entire point of entry. Don't spend all of your time configuring the development, development environment. Nobody, nobody cares, cares if, if your repo is really well managed. Nobody cares, cares if your CMake files, files, files are all in order. It really doesn't matter. Just make it work and make it work quickly. Do submit before the deadline. And remember to test your submission and download your own submission to get your friends to test it too. There will not be an opportunity to edit your submission during the judgment period. Unless, Unless there is exceptional circumstances. Don't, don't give up. Many, Many of you are going to feel like it's just, just not going to happen this time around. But don't, don't give up. up. Actually, Actually, do try and submit something. something. It doesn't matter if it's finished, it's finished. This is all just for fun. Do remember to wait for the entries. That's really important to see the community based jam. Everybody that's entered is relying on you to wait for their entries. Well, I guess I should talk now because here's the theme. Well, well, this year, the theme for the OLC Code Jam 2021 is a subject matter very, very close to my heart, and it can only be one possible thing. It's, it's the future. future. Is that a good thing? thing? Yes. yes. So fucking cute. I think this guy's cute. Oh, the future, the future I hear you are quite what an easy theme it is this year. Well, I want you to be a little, little bit more creative than just, just robots blasting each other in the future. future. Instead, Instead, use this as an opportunity to think a little bit outside, outside the box. What are, what are the decisions that we make today, today that affect tomorrow? tomorrow? How, How can we prepare for So from there, he goes on to a bunch... Uh, I'm just going to cut him off because it's basically done. Um, so... That was the theme. Hi. And we'll go back to God, so I'm all C. Submissions. And this is his submission. Okay. Who wants to try it? Which, which one? Can the I guy, the guy that was just couch? talking. Jet, jetted the train? Yeah. No, that's it's someone else. It's by a Lobo. It's just using his face. Oh, cute. Oh, I thought it was his. No. Um, oh, okay. He's got other. He's got stuff in here. Okay. Well, anyway, I'll, we're gonna try this one. Okay. Who would like to try? Uh, I think I'm good, but I would like to get on the couch. Yeah. I'll go for it. All right. It's mouse and keyboard. Released. I guess so. <laughs> Get my bony ass. I just noticed that. One day we can stop him. He made his last bastion of hope. The one, the only, the legend. The elderly handsome. Job in the train. train. I believe it's W A S D if I remember right. Yes. Okay. And then you only have speed up, slow down, and rotate. <laughs> Is there sound? Uh, I don't think so on this one. No. Okay. Okay, fuck you. 
Well, he just kind of keeps going around in circles. Just about to say. Lots of traps. Using the rotate the there. Oh my god. Make it and stop. And seasick. <laughs> oh, I can't slow down. Oh. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I like how you just get flattened. So it's just like, bonk, and you're flat. That's amazing. <laughs> but the little steam smoke coming off, like, I thought that was so cute. Yeah. Mm. And I love the fact that like, in his videos, like, don't just be blasting robots. And in here, this guy's like, nope, I'm going to make you blast robots. <laughs> With an AK-47, I think? No, I mean, okay, maybe? What? Uh, no. Uh, fuck, I can't tell. <sighs> Oh! <laughs> the hilarious thing is that the like uh, landscape is like nothing is tied to the landscape. Like nothing the, at all. Yeah. Yeah. It's just. And you could go right through the water too. Yeah. Yeah. There's no collision for trees or. You can also just like be shooting yourself in the face, and that's fine. <laughs> Apparently. Jesus Christ. Alright, Kamikaze it is. New high score. Anybody else? Funny. Oh. I'm good. My legend. Legend. It was fine. It was bad position, though. I just like sitting like this. Was that yes or no, Lulz? No, I think I'm, I'm going to give it a quick try. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Oh, yeah. Then we'll do another different one after this. Yeah. So what was speed up? W? Yes. Is there a slowdown? I could. I think you can slow down it's up just to gradual. a point. Um, oh, that's a new one. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, the thing with the spidery legs? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I've seen this before. <laughs> when he was playing this the other day. Did anyone here ever play Balloon Tower Defense? Uh, no, but the, it looked cute. There's the one with the monkeys? Yes. Yeah. Balloon Tower Defense was one of my favorite games. Uh, desktop Tower Defense was a favorite of mine for a little bit. Me and one of my friends got super competitive about that. Mm -hmm. She would, like, be, like, sending me her high scores, be like, ah, fuck. She'd be, like, sending me high scores, like, beat this! <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, uh, I've always, I found a love for tower defense games. Huh. Yeah, They're not super common anymore, at least. There's all, still a lot of indies that do the same thing. One of my next VR games is going to be virtual reality tower defense, oh, where wow. you're putting down, putting down towers in VR. Because mm -hmm. I think that'll be, like, interesting, and that way you can, it's like... And that's like the benefit of VR is like you can just grab and place things three dimensionally that don't really like work with you know a mouse. Mm -hmm. um, one of the stronger indie VR demos that I've seen in a while was Machizel. Machizel. Or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce anything, but um, the game was you're building a bunch of ramps for balls that are rolling through a maze. And the maze has got like weird rules and whatever, uh, but it worked really well in VR because uh, every time I played one of those games on like a gamepad or with a mouse or anything, there's always this obnoxiousness of like trying to rotate something in three dimensions while using you know something that only works in two dimensions and being like, okay, wait, I wanted to rotate to this. no, I wanted to rotate it this way, ah, you know, and there's always that like moment of frustration. But if you can just grab with your hands and move it. Like, then that doesn't happen. Um, so, like... Do you have to hold something down, or is it just going? You shoot uh, uh, Yeah, you just need to, like, hold the click button. It keeps shooting. Hmm. Okay. I just wasn't paying attention. Anybody else? Oh, I don't think that is a note. No. Nah. Uh, anything else y'all want to try out of this list? Fractal music. Just try that one. 
Uh, fractal music sounds fun. So I've noticed that some of them don't install properly through. Uh, half of them don't. Yeah. Yeah. Cannot read property build of undefined details for nerds. Won't well, we are nerds here? Might be able to just download it and run the exe file, but yeah, uh, some of them like people have forgotten include files, or I'm gonna give it one more try. That's too bad. That does look too old. Too um, cute. Sounds. Is that normal? Probably yeah. not for a game entitled Fractal Music. Yeah. Uh. Let's try one that I know works. We tried future paths. Yes. Yeah. Oh, actually, I know that this works. You're jumping uh, and dodging a lot with a stick. Okay, so if just you click, the stick? Yep. Um, so it's going to use your uh, right thumb to click on new game. And then pull the right trigger to click. And, and, we're we're now. and then uh, the bumpers are jump. And the stick is move. Oh, okay. You can use that to jump too. I have a bunch of controls set up on that, so the jumps are random. Um, so you can take 35 hits, you've taken 33 so far. Okay, yeah, that's a very... There's a lot, there's a lot going on. So controls are uh, bumpers, jump, stick moves, uh, and then it's the mouse is the right thumb pad and click is the right trigger. And we're we're starting starting now. The bumpers, so like your oh, left. Oh, oh, yeah. 
Uh, the grips do too. I meant the uh, left bumper, I guess. Oh, yeah. Okay. Close. So you have 15 seconds remaining to the next upgrade. Oh, okay. So there is, it's not just a, okay. Well, yep, just, blood type is ne A negative. Uh, so mouse and then, yeah, trigger. And then try the left bumper to jump okay. for me. And then we're yeah. now. I, there's only a jump, a time slowdown, and a shoot control. Um, so I was just like iterating different controls. Uh, Steam pad, real Steam. Is this the one that you made? No. Okay. No, I made it for a minute. Yes. I didn't know if you kept a try. Oh! Anyway, enough of that. 
Something different? Fall of the Cog Natural Disaster Strategy. So is there a winner? Is there a winner for this? Yeah, there's three levels. Okay. Uh, you get the time to slow down things second, and then you get a machine gun blast to shoot the oh, box. Oh, no, I'm not for the uh, Yeah, there's like a bunch of voting, so you can vote on... I think voting's going for another week or something like that. I forget the rules. Um, so there was 110 programs submitted... Um, and then 600 people have given ratings or rankings or whatever of them. Um, and then you can adherence, legitimacy, originality, and impression. Um, so, so let's try Fall of the Cog. Oh, wow. Maybe it was glitching because I'm out of memory. Wow. I'll fix that. What is this? It's all of cog. My cog is falling. So, uh, I guess let's let's the prologue. Ooh, we're mid great new scenario. What? The Grey Goose scenario. Uh, you ever heard that sci-fi concept? Mm -hmm. The idea if you create um, a small machine, there's there's a bunch of proposals to create like a very small machine that was um, self-replicating, so you could like dump one tiny micro robot in like a riverbed, and it would like consume whatever surrounding materials and replicate and replicate and replicate. And then eventually just like form itself into a pile of itself and then you have a bridge over the river or whatever. And then somebody else was like, oh, like if you lost control of the replication, then they might just literally chew through the entire planet and turn all of our world into just a uniform metallic gray goo. Um, oh, gray goo. Yeah. Okay. I heard gray goose. I was very confused. <laughs> I'm going to start easy. So we're going to throw fire there, and earthquake there, and you look like good hurricane fodder there, and there, and we're going to flood this area. Alright, that seven, that got worse, so maybe fire needs to be further south. All disasters do one damage. Okay, so maybe I should, like, really nail this area real hard, just to, like... Fuck that up. <laughs> okay, so seven. <laughs> the names are hilarious. Mm -hmm. Mercury River, Blink Pool, Terror Wars. <laughs> Death Wars. <laughs> Bloom Land, Dark Fields. Okay, so this one needs two. Domination Town. <laughs> <laughs> I love the concept of this. 
like you were the elements fighting the robots. Ooh, they're coming across from the sea. I want to see if I can like really corner them. So I don't think it can hurt these guys until they have a point value, right? Have I been hurting these before? I think yeah, they I have think a one. Have. Yeah, they're, those are a one. one. These are going to keep spawning, so I think I need to reverse the strategy now and maybe go. Because they can only spread after they get to seven, so I need to stop the spreaders first. that uh, virus cooperative game. Pandemic? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder how oh, many people actually want to play that game these days. Yeah, fair. <laughs> so obliterate those and make sure these don't spread. struggle. Like you're some sort of like higher elemental. Like that's that's a very novel concept. Mm -hmm. Two, two. Yeah you do. How is that still true? It's been dated for like thirty years. Yeah here we are. Got it. 
Hey. Hey. Uh oh. Mm. Hey, only took me 25 years to flee, free the planet of Cog. Hmm? Anybody else want to try it? Something different? I'd like to try this. Sure. Okay. Could I use uh, the mouse? You can. Do you just want this or do you want like a vanilla mouse? Is the regular mouse anywhere in it's here? It's here ish. Uh, it's hanging from the TV. Thank you. Sound but no music. Like that. Did you do prologue or easy? Uh, prologue is just a description. I did easy mode. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cities will be affected by the disaster, even if the disaster area is just buried. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was exactly my question. That's a useful little hint. Thank you, cow man. The opposite of man cow. I worry we didn't get, didn't get explosions that time. And then the seven spread.
bit or something. Twos. Five years faster than me. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right. Is this thing still running, by the way? So, Future Me is pretty cute. Did you have to show that one yet? Future Me? Yeah. Cool. Can I try one more round of this or do you want to jump yeah, in? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. When you click it, is uh, how big the circle ends up being. You're playing the old lady with the T-pose? Yes. Um, yeah, I didn't get that. Um. Careful of the sevens. Yeah. All right. 
or you're just very small. Yeah, they keep pouring over, and this area gets bigger every time and harder to maintain. Um, so where are they coming in from? Well, everywhere. Conquer another planet. <laughs> Damn. It's real quick. This will be easier because it's. But this is unsettling. <laughs> How dear. Yeah, as soon as they're not jumping across the sea, they're so much easier to wrangle. Like this planet, like it's the same difficulty. Well, the thing that I'm noticing is that uh, you take care of the little ones, but the sevens just keep growing and growing and spreading. And that's fine. As long as they're maintained, I'll be able to like hit them all. Um, but like, see, you see how they're still like wrangled? Yeah, probably because I actually had enough space for this one. I literally am running so I'm like, low in space, it's laughable. Cute! Oh, this one's real glitchy and like trembly. Wait, wait. Yeah, like. Yeah. It's weird. Okay, WS. 
is the D. I like the different like grayscale and how that makes the texture look. Yeah, the art's really cute. Yeah. A for R for. I 
called the uh, VHS effect. That's like adorable. Oh wait, no. Why? Why didn't that work? Are those different? I thought they were the same color. So this one, when I have a ghost of me standing on it. Oh no, I'm doing that wrong. Maybe I need to be off of it and then go on it to trigger it? I think it's just when they fade out. Like, they're just not usable when they fade out. But my, my recording was standing on it and it wasn't working. So I think it, because I started recording oh, because I started recording while I was standing on it, it didn't trigger it. So you start recording and then step onto it to trigger it.
scanning on it before you hit record. No, because then it doesn't trigger. Uh, 